This is a painting that my daughter gave me for Christmas. And eventually I'm going to frame it. I really like the painting and my daughter gave it to me. But before I do that, I'm going to take the painting off of this stretcher. The stretcher is kind of wimpy and it's not quite in square. And there's a few rolls and waves in the canvas. So rather than trying to restretch the canvas, I'm going to take the painting off of this stretcher and mount the painting on a piece of three quarter inch birch plywood. I've already cut the plywood to size. And the first thing I'm gonna do is prime the plywood with one coat of acrylic matte medium. Now I'm gonna let this dry and I'll get to work on taking the painting off the stretcher. If you want, you can speed up the drying process with a hair dryer. I'll put the painting face down on a piece of plastic to protect the image. I'm using an awl to remove the staples. You could also use a screwdriver. And then I'm using a pair of cutters to pull the staple out. And of course you could also use a pair of pliers. Before I pull the stretcher away from the canvas, I'll trace a line around the stretcher and that will be a reference line for when I mount the plywood or I mount the canvas to the plywood. Now I'll hit this with a little sandpaper. I like to do this so the plywood doesn't absorb all the glue. Now I'll give the plywood another coat and the canvas a coat of the acrylic matte medium. Now I'll place the plywood with the primed acrylic matte medium side face down on the canvas. And I'll adjust the plywood with the reference lines that I traced. I wanted to point out that I've got the weight on the plywood pressing on the canvas. The plastic there is to protect the image. And then I have the foam core and that's there in case there's any texture in the painting, it'll push into the foam core. If you have a heavy textured painting, this method might not work. I've let the glue set up for a few hours. You could also let the glue set up overnight. When I say glue, I'm talking about the acrylic matte medium. And now I'm going to trim away the canvas. If you like, you can kind of prime the edges. What I'm trying to do is lock in the fibers of the canvas with a little of the acrylic matte medium. You just want to be careful you don't get it on the front of your painting. Okay, well that's all there is to it. It's really pretty simple. This is a small painting, so smaller paintings, uh, it's easier to mount smaller paintings. I didn't mind using three quarter inch plywood on a small painting like this. Anytime I get over the size of say 12 by 12 inches, I start thinking of making a braced panel because Three quarter inch plywood can start to get a wave in it and it also will get heavy. You wouldn't want to mount a say 30 by 30 inch painting on a piece of three quarter inch plywood. In that case, you would want to make a braced panel. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.